Allie, join me in creating these wire Santas to hang on a lovely charm bracelet. If you need any materials, don't forget below the video in the description, you can click on that show more button and you'll get links to shop with us online. So the first thing that we're gonna be making in this charm bracelet is our little Santas. So you can see Santa here has a wire beard that has some 11-0 white seed bees. And these are the ivory ones. You can do white, you can do white shimmer. A six millimeter pearl on top, a crystal rondelle spacer, another little crystal, a four millimeter bicone for his hat, and then just one more little seed bead at the top for a puff on the top of his hat. It's really fun and easy. You can make all of your Santas look a little bit different based on their beards and how you want to make them full. You can even play around with this design, creating um, others as well using crystals as the body. So for this, you're gonna want three pairs of pliers. I have a round nose pliers, a wire cutter, and a needle nose pliers that I'll be utilizing. I'm also gonna be working with 26 gauge wire. We're gonna take the 26 gauge wire and we're gonna pull off about a foot of wire. You can grab your ruler and measure that if you want to, but honestly, eyeballing it is fine. Once you use your wire cutter and you have that full foot of 26 gauge wire. We're gonna go in and create the beard. The beards are gonna consist of about seven to eight 11 O seed beads. If you wanna make it a little bit bigger, you can use eight O seed beads and an eight millimeter pearl or a 10 millimeter pearl in the middle, that's up to you. I'm going to create based on making loops and letting the beads hang out in the loops of the snowman. So wire can be a little bit tricky when you're on camera to get that full view, but I'm gonna leave a good two inches or so of my wire before I hold with my round nose pliers. I'm gonna do a simple little turn around the round nose pliers, not even thinking about it really, really much at all. Just one little loop there. Doesn't matter which way you turn, right or left. I'm then gonna slide on to the end of the wire, the longer piece. There's an additional 10 or so inches, a couple seed beads. I'll start out with four seed beads. And these are just gonna feed right onto the wire. Once you have those four seed beads on, let them drop down towards that little loop. Open up the wire a tiny bit and push one of those seed beads down into that little loop that you made. Usually you can just kind of drop that in there. See how that wire's there? Put another bead right after grab your round nose pliers, hold as tiny as you can, and once again, do a little loop right there at the top. So you can see I'm not really doing it so that it's perfect. I'm just playing around just so it holds the bead in place. After that one, I'm just gonna bend with my hands, showing you another variation. Just bending the wire into a loop to lock that seed bead in place. Add a couple more seed beads. We'll do four more, we'll do eight for his beard. I've done eight or seven consistently throughout all of these. Santa's. Put those next couple of beads on, leave one bead out of the loop, grab another piece of your wire here, just make that into a loop, pulling and pushing it closer down. Leave two beads this time out of our loop, make another loop, which one of those beads will capture in. And there we have on it eight beads. So you can see it's just really free form and really fun and easy. From here, the next step is we're gonna pinch those two ends together, and that becomes Santa's beard. So those two ends to go together, where I have the about nine inches or so left of wire here, and the one and a half to two inches left on the left-hand side. Now we're gonna put on Santa's head. So Santa's head, I'm using a white pearl. Again, this is a Potomac pearl in the bright white color, and it's a six millimeter. You can also use the ivory if you wanna have him to have a little bit of a vintage look. And in this one here, I use a bead cap rather than the crystal rondelle. Once you get his head right on top of his beard, you're gonna have both wires coming out the top. I'm gonna to now push along that wire because it's 26 gauge, it'll move, and just kind of push his beard into place where I want it to be. From here, it's just building blocks. You're gonna take a crystal rondelle, stick it on the end of both wires, and let that drop on top of his face. Then we're gonna put on his red portion of his hat. Once again, putting that through our two beads. From here, on the end of that longer piece of wire, 11 O seed bead. And once again, that 26 gauge wire, you're gonna be able to get both strands through. 
So now we have our beard that we created out of our wire. Then we have Santa's head, his little bottom of his hat, his red hat, and his little white pom-pom on top. From here, I'm going to go in right above that little pom-pom with my round nose pliers, and I'm gonna bend that wire to the side. So if I look at Santa's head, that wire is bent to the side there. Go back in with your round nose pliers, and we're gonna make that into a loop. So both strands are going around the round nose pliers, so it has two pieces. It's thin wire, so anytime you're using a thin wire, it's always nice to get two of those pieces around the loop to hold its shape. From here, I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers, hold that loop that I just made, and wrap those two pieces of wire around once and then twice. Grab your cutters, cut that wire down close to the bottom of that loop. Short piece is gonna be a scrap, the long piece we're gonna do the next Santa with. Go ahead in, pinch down those ends, and then Santa gets to hang out with his friends, and I have another one there. So I have a total of seven Santas made. I'm gonna make an eighth one, and then I'll show you how we're gonna attach them to our charm bracelet. So to continue my charm bracelet, I have all my Santas made. I have some six millimeter bicones in the Olivine AB color that I put on some one inch head pins with the 11 OC bead at the bottom. I put some more of my four millimeter bicones in that opaque crimson color on some head pins and about seven of each of these. And then right now I'm putting on a six millimeter disco ball. So kind of getting sixes and fours in different shapes and sizes and I am getting those into head pins rolling down. So I'm not worried too much about the eye pin sticking straight up from the top because it's a charm bracelet, you're never gonna see it. This is a one inch head pin. I cut about an eighth of an inch off. Then I'm going in with my round nose pliers and I'm just rolling that loop down till it touches the bead and it's off to the side. So I'm repeating this with several and creating those nice little head pins. So here's one I'm gonna cut down still, have that scrap, and then I'm gonna get ready to roll that down to create that eye pin. From here, it is assembly time. So we get to grab our chain, and I'm just using a common cable chain there, and I'm going to lay out my biggest bead first. So whenever you're doing a charm bracelet, I like to lay out the larger ones to give me an idea about where I want them to be. So if you're doing a seven inch wrist, I know that each inch or so, I'm gonna put one of my snowmen, a little bit less than that by the time I add my clasp. So we're gonna get our snowmen, my imposter got in there. All right, so I have my snowmen on, and I'm keeping them off the exact ends of the chain because I wanna be able to take my bracelet on and off. So I'll put a littler bead on the end. We'll do that on each end, making them match. Then from here, I'm gonna put a red bead between each, just to kind of make it consistent. And if I need to, I'll go ahead and make another red little bead. From here, same thing, I'll put a green one on in here to get that same color look. Drop a green bead between each. And then same deal, I'll do an opal bead between each. So I might have to make a couple more of these. And you can just put them on to the top too if you want, because we're gonna pick up our chain and work on it. So we know about the distance of what we have to do. So I have a couple more, one more white to make, one more red to make, and then I'll show you how we're going to open up our eye pins and put them on and how we're gonna use some jump rings to attach our Santas. So depending on your style of chain, you will want to add your charms on to the same links of the chain. So I'm having it that they're all hanging down. A Rolo chain, you're gonna have a chain go one way, go the other way, one way, the other way. This one, this cable chain is gonna be a little bit different here. So I wanna make sure as I'm adding these, as I'm putting them on, that I'm looking at the chain and I'm hanging them down from the bottom of the link. I have a pattern now that I've established with my snowman, then one open chain link, then my green, one open chain link, then my white, no open chain link, my red right after, one open chain link, and then my snowman. So how I'm putting on the snowman is I'm opening up my 20 gauge five millimeter jump ring I'm going in and I'm sliding that opening to the side. If your nails aren't tough, you can do this with two pliers as well. And I'm sliding to the side rather than pulling back on it. I'm going to link that on, skipping one chain link, making sure that I'm going into the correct link, grab my snowman, 
put him on, close that up past where you think it'll be closed and it'll spring back into action. From here then, I'm gonna grab my next green one. Same deal with the jump ring as with the eye pin. Pull that open to the side rather than pulling it back. Find your one space, then your next one where you can link onto. I'm gonna pick up the chain, close that up nice and tight. So you're just continuing along the pattern in the bracelet, adding in our nice little Santa's dangling with our holiday colors between. To attach my clasp at the end, the last thing I did was add one more of my little, my little uh, head pin there and attach to this simple clasp, which is just that little um, hitch clasp. And I'm gonna go to the other side, do the same thing, ending with one green one next to my red. So that way they go in order as I finish off. And then literally just closing that up nice and tight. It dangles down right on the end as acts as a connector, but also gives a little bit of that color there on the end of your simple Santa charm bracelet. Super simple thing to do. You can use a lot of crystal mixes. You can use a ton of different six millimeter beads for a face, different things for the hat, different things to get a different look and really just play around with the design. Not only does it look great as a bracelet, but you can also do this as a necklace as well too. So if you're looking for it as a bracelet, here's how it's gonna look on your wrist with your Santa's kind of hanging down. And then if you wanna do it as a necklace, you're gonna be able to have that hanging down on the neck as well too. So a lot of fun with these simple wire designs that I've been doing for the holiday season. Great to do with kids and adults alike to put you in that holiday cheer. Thanks so much for joining me in this wire Santa charm bracelet. Remember these skills can be used in a lot of different ways. You also, if you need materials, go ahead and look below the video in the description to shop with us online. And if you haven't yet, subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. Happy holidays and stay tuned for our next inspirational video.